actually where I'm going right now, guys. I'm going to a little mountain town in California called Ojai. And it's really beautiful. It has, um, it's kind of like, I had massage places. Well, actually, I don't know how many, but I heard it, it's more of a spiritual place. And it has spring pools and the natural spring pools and some hippy dippy types, which I love. And I, I mean, I've been there a few times. I haven't, I've only been to one restaurant. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys. I just want to talk to you guys about something specifically. Um, because I like talking to you guys and I also enjoy your opinion on things. And you all have your own little opinions and interesting ways of, you know, seeing things. And I would like to hear some of it because I feel like I am in an, an um, um, desert of, I don't even know. I was trying to go somewhere with that met a metaphor, but I don't know exactly what I was trying to say. What I, what I want to talk about, I actually made a video, but I feel like my video, which I haven't decided if I'm going to post it with this little video, I think I will. Um, I, I kind of feel like I'm all over the place in it, and I don't know if I'm really making my point the way I want to, because I'm not really good with words. I, I think I'm good with writing. You know, I actually think I write pretty well, but I, when it comes to expressing myself, I have a hard time doing that, like getting out what I want to say, exactly. Especially if it's something really emotional or difficult to talk about. It, ugh, I can only imagine how annoying I am to listen to at times. But with this particular subject, I really need your opinion and thoughts and anything, really. Just because I feel really frustrated and annoyed. And I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm really sorry about the bumping and the driving. There's a place up in Ojai where I want to stop. It's a beautiful um, lake. And it's, it's quite a while up there. So, yeah. Um, anyway. So, the video that I made is about the N-word. But that's not really the video. The video really is about racism and how annoying it is and how it's just, I just want to talk about that because I, I feel like I don't really have anyone to talk to. I have, I do have my best friend in Massachusetts and it, but she's in Massachusetts and it's really, it's different. It's different if you have like your crew with you and they can kind of go with it with you, go through these things, but Um, I don't, you know, and, and it's not just where I live now. This is like something that's been going on forever. It seems like it never ends and it's frustrating for me and it's just annoying. It's just annoying. It kind of wears me down at times and lately it's been wearing me down more and more and it could be because I'm in a new place and it's stressful to be in a new place and start up a new life in a new place but there's so much like little <sighs> annoying things that are going on where I live now and it's not new it's like I I don't know exactly I, let me just I'm just gonna talk um anyway oh up here is like Johnny Cash where his house is somewhere I don't I don't think anyone can actually see it from the road but there's a big sign that says Johnny Cash something okay how do I start I don't even know see this is the problem I have it's, sometimes it feels like it's just too overwhelming that I don't know where to start exactly but um see <sighs> so where I live now the town that I live in I have met really good people, really great people. I don't know them, but you know, just going walking around town or whatever, you go to the store, you have really nice interactions. So, and there's people that aren't from where I live now. They they moved here and 
they're from other places, which is nice too, to meet people that have been other places and not in the same area their whole life. And that's their whole mentality. But I'm having issues and problems with people that don't have a ton of education. And let me make this clear. I don't think you have to have an education to be a smart person, but I'm talking about people that have very little life experience, very little education, haven't traveled really anywhere, and they hate me because of my color. So it's like you put all those things together, and then on top of that, they hate me because of my color. And not just me, obviously, they hate black people. They just don't like people of color. It could be, it could be somebody who's Mexican or Brazilian, you know, it doesn't matter. They're just brown. They hate you, you know? And I don't need them to like me, but the problem I have is that they need to let me know that they hate me. And I find that very annoying because I would prefer if people just kept that to themselves, you know? Because I don't need to know. I really don't. And I think, like, just even moving in, not even have, we don't even have our furniture in yet. There's a neighbor who ma made our move so uncomfortable by her just being outside staring at us with a cold, dead-ass look with her gang of friends. No welcoming looks, nothing. And not even just like the look of, oh great, there's a black person, and then they leave. Not even that. Just stayed out there and gave us cold looks while the movers were moving stuff in made the movers so uncomfortable that the movers actually came to me and said are you sure you're gonna be okay here <laughs> uh, why are you moving to this area you know that sort of thing you have you, you you're gonna have problems over here my movers were all of color let me mention that um, and I had already noticed this woman I actually greeted her and she did not greet me back and let me know with her face she hates me so it's like okay gotcha you know um, so in this situation which has happened many times in life you know you meet people like this there's always that person that's like well how do you know it was your color oh my god Maybe it's my curly hair. She doesn't like the curly hair. I don't give a shit what it is. It's obvious she hates me and she wants me to know by her evil looks and by her standing out there and letting it be known. You know, it's like, I don't care if it's not, if it's my color, I don't care. It's like she's letting me know, we don't want you here. And black people, Mexican people, Brazilian people, I'm saying the same order. Um, oh, I'm getting to a little town now. Um, Jamaicans, Africans, Asians, they, they know what I'm talking about. So I never like, I, I usually don't have the, dev, the devil's advocate happening too much with people of color, but I do have the devil's advocate happening a lot with white people. And it, and it can be very annoying because, so this is where I get all, I don't even know where to go with it, with what I'm talking about. Other than it's just frustrating to have to deal with this mentality because you know the mentality is like when I look at her life let me just kind of I don't really know I don't know her at all but I know a little bit just from living here so far and what I do know is she's not an educated person she's young and her family let's just break it down her family was in on the looks and all that uh, another day and I actually talk about it a little bit in my video so she gets it from her family. She was raised with it, you know, and she's teaching it to her children, which is in my video as well. Um, so so she, she's young. She's in her uh, mid to younger 20s. She has three children. She has all different baby daddies. Um, um, she's, she's had the cops called on her home because of a domestic dispute with other men coming over and wanting to see their children and her not letting them. And then the man that is there that night is fighting 
the other man, you know, so there's all that messy stuff going on. And you can hear it because it's a community, it's an apartment community, so you can hear, and it's a fight outside, so the cops are called. And so it's pretty ghetto over there. Okay. Um, so I'm just like, and so obviously I could be like, my question is, what makes you better than me? You know, I don't have any of those things happening, you know. But it's it's a stupid question because she's she's very very ignorant and this is not ignorant as in a name calling ignorant this is just a fact she's just super ignorant and she was raised in this sort of way so it's kind of like it becomes a community problem I don't want to get into all of that I'm just saying for myself as someone who is just living on this earth who has three degrees who has higher education, who, um, you know, has massage licenses in different states, and went to an Ivy League college and got a master's. I have to deal with these people that look at me like I'm the problem, you know, because they take one skin color with very different variations within the skin color and say you're all bad you're all evil you're all horrible for the world you're all doing this or that or this or that and that's what I'm gonna teach my children and which she is teaching her little kids to hate black people hence see the video and you'll see what I'm talking about um, and this is not a video about her this is very common and there's a lot of people like this out in the world and This is the part where like, well, there's a lot of black people that do the same thing. There's a lot of, you know, what it comes down to, wrong is wrong, okay? It's just wrong to act this way. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, you shouldn't act like that. You shouldn't hate somebody based on their color. So if black people are doing it, wrong. White people are doing it, wrong. It's wrong all around. You know, no, it's not good, it's not right, and it's not right either way. It's just not right altogether. And, I mean, if you, the thing is, if you have to judge another person, which you really shouldn't have to do that, why judge them on their color? Why not judge them on, like, their character or what they've done with their life, you know? Which is still pretty shitty because you don't know how people grew up. You don't know people's life experience. But I would love, some, you know, sometimes I would just love to sit down with one of these families that hate me. And actually, let's say sit down with this family, this particular family, because it's like whenever I drive, whenever I walk to the mailbox, whenever I do anything where I live and they see me it's so uncomfortable it's just insane I would love to just stop and be like stop your party you're having right now and let's compare notes let's see how you're better than I am you know let's let's put a table out and add up to see how much how why you're so much better than me let's go let's do it god I would love to do that really love to do that and I'm tempted but I'm not because they're ignorant people you cannot reason with ignorance so it's sort of like I have to learn how to put on like you know how you put on repellent for mosquitoes I need to to learn to have more repellent on me but it's really tough because people say oh racism doesn't happen or don't worry about what people do or but it really does get in the way. It's it's an annoyance, just like mosquitoes are annoyance. It makes things unpleasant, you know? And it's so, and it's really hard for me because I can't wrap my mind around it. I mean, these people see that I have, know me, that we're quiet, um, my yard looks beautiful, my flowers are blooming, I'm doing things in the yard to make things prettier. I have my 
um, hummingbird feeder up and my beautiful clay pots and my potted plants and I have my beautiful Christmas lights that are they're not really Christmas lights but a lot of neighbors have lights up and I put mine up and I put them up really well <laughs> like what am I doing to call to, to 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 get still so much hate well the answer is I'm doing nothing I'm just being black and I hate black people like I could see people being like, oh, I'm so sick of those people because they're like playing music really loud, they're disrespectful, they're throwing garbage around, they're not keeping their place up. You know, I could see people having problems, you know, but I'm not doing anything. And I have to deal with this. I think one of the things that I didn't really, it didn't come across as clear in my video, I think people that are affected by the n-word, like for me, it's not so much that I'm affected by the n-word, it's that I'm constantly affected by racism. It's just annoying. It's just like, I still have to go through stuff in 2017, there's still so much little bullshit that you have to go through on a day-to-day -day basis that when I hear someone like say the n-word and it's not in a derogatory way or against somebody it's more just like homey saying it in that sort of way I don't necessarily care especially if I know the person or it's different content like I don't even know who knows but I'm just saying I could see at times I could be annoyed by hearing that word or be annoyed by hearing it said like even said with a hard R but not meaning to be mean you know it just kind of came out you know that sort of thing not meaning I could be annoyed by that just because I'm so sick of like all the day-to-day -day bullshit that you have to go through it gets pretty tiring and I've been dealing with it for my whole life basically let me try to think so you all know well a lot of you know how I was I was adopted what is that? that's cute I was adopted at three months of age and my family's white everyone's white cousins white grandma grandpa white aunts white uncles white everyone's white okay parents white so I grew up in a white world upper middle class Silicon Valley so I grew up like that right well I started noticing racism at an early age and I was like wow oh this is really cute over here um, so I, I noticed it at an early age with little things here and there and then it just progressively got worse as I got older and I have so many stories about it and it's real oh my god it is so freaking cute over here holy shit I got to show you guys this on the way back I never went this far out actually I don't even know where that um, that lake is that I wanted to show you this is super cute oh hi oh my god I might, we, need, we might need to move here we'll see but um so there's so many instances of racism that I've gone through and when I look at my siblings they haven't gone through any of it you know and so when I hear people say racism doesn't exist or it's not as prevalent as people think it is or just exaggerating certain things I'm just like seriously but how come my brothers haven't gone through anything I mean they've gone through stuff being with me but when I'm not there they're free and clear it's really crazy to hear people say it doesn't exist it's like is it all in my mind it's all in my mind holy shit it makes you feel like am I schizophrenic <laughs> am I do I do I have a personality disorder that I don't even where I'm hallucinating or I mean sorry if I sound annoying right now in my voice I just heard my voice I sound a little annoying but I need you all to tell me what do you do like to deal with stuff like this because I have a daughter 
21 and she's seeing a lot of racism in her life already and I'm trying to figure out how to not let it affect me that is the big deal I feel I you know what I've always said and I've had doctors tell me this too who think I just have anxiety I'm just born with it and I don't know my family background so I wouldn't even be able to know if my mother had it or whatever but maybe I wasn't born with anxiety maybe just this constant hate from not only white people but I got hate from black people too just being in a family of white people you know black people didn't like that so I got hate from all over that maybe that attributed to my anxiety it is so pretty out here it really affects me when I know somebody is judging me just on my color they don't even know me that really affects me like that's like that's a deep thing and I think pe people who are white don't really know what that feels like so they can't you guys can't quite really get why because I hear a lot of people like just don't worry about that person just fuck them you know fuck that person you don't really know what a soul-crushing feeling that is it's really fucked up and especially when you looking at the other person and seriously girl you want to hate me get your life together first please please get your life together first before you hate me oh my god it's like it makes me feel even worse like like girl you hate me oh my god that's like that's I guess maybe that's ego is that my ego because the toothless wonder hates me holy shit wow people don't people really don't like black people they I mean even people that don't even have freaking teeth or 11th grade under their belt hate me <laughs> oh god it's super beautiful and that's the thing I and I love be, like where I live now I picked it because it was relatively inexpensive for California even though it's still expensive of course because it's California and and I looked up you know who lives like the breakdown of races and stuff like that and I looked up any articles of racism or is it known to be a racist town I looked up all these things and I didn't really find anything that would tell me no you don't want to move there you really don't want to move there I'm I really didn't see anything other than Simi Valley which is about 40 minutes away um, y'all could just look up Simi Valley and the whole OJ Simpson case and all that whatever um oh sorry about the lighting guys but these are really really twisty hills Woo! super twisty and beautiful but I love to I love little towns you know like shout out to John Cougar Mellencamp I get you you know I get that oh I think this is the way yes this is the way guys anyway I always love it. I'm like, oh, it's such a quaint town. Look at how cute. Oh, look at, there's the, the corner store and the, you know? Okay, Ventura is really not that country. Um, but then I always forget, oh shit, small town mentality. I totally forgot about that part, fuck. But I'm always already moved in and then that happens and I'm like, oh, damn it. Let's go back to the city. <laughs> Cause I don't have problems in the city, right? Like when I lived in New York City, I never had a problem with any of that stuff. The thing that bothered me about New York, because I worked in hardcore areas as a social worker and super stressful, but I loved it. Um, I would just get, like, I just was like longing for the country. Like, oh, I just need to get out of this hustle bustle city. I I need the rolling hills. And, and actually my mom had bought a house in upstate New York. So I was like going there on the weekends. It was really just a wonderful getaway from the city and the hustle and bustle of it all. But I didn't really deal with any racism in the city because everybody lives in the city. Like, it's stupid. You can't really, <laughs> you could be racist in the city, but you're going to be quiet about it. Like, people, you don't, oh, well, you know, there's always the situations where there's stuff. But I feel less of the racism when I'm in the city because it's pretty stupid. <laughs> you know, it's pretty dumb. Oh, I could have pulled out there. 
I think that's, uh, I'm not sure if that's where I wanted to go or not. Okay, there's no, I think that might have been it though. Oh, fuck. Sorry guys, my eye is like watering. I got medicine for my eye. The doctor doesn't know why it always waters on me. It, it waters when I wear makeup. Like I just can't wear makeup anymore. Is that the solution? I can never wear makeup again in my life. Because it, it's okay if I don't put makeup on. So that just sucks though, because I want to, like, I want to wear makeup sometimes, especially getting older. I don't want to be able to not cover shit. I mean, hell. But, whatever. So I don't know what I'm really talking about anymore, other than I don't think I ever told you all this. And you're probably going to be like, what? But, you guys have really helped me through rough times, let me tell you. Losing my mom was the hardest thing I've ever, ever gone through. And you guys, like these three years that I've been making videos, obviously my channel isn't very big. I don't really, I guess, try to grow it very much because it's still very small. But um, you guys, have said like sometimes I'll get a comment and I don't you know maybe I'll be going to bed and something will pop through and I'll read it and I'll be like oh my god and I'll feel so much better like I don't really have supports in my life very strong supports like I have my best friend in Massachusetts you know my daughter but um you guys are really really good for, for me and I hope my videos are relaxing for you um, so I think that's a pretty healthy relationship <laughs> so um, I kind of like it out here but I'm also like I just never know so what do you guys do now I'm asking you all for some help what do y'all do with um when you are faced with these sort of things because i need to grow a thicker skin but i'm already getting old you know and i don't and i'm still like sensitive to stuff so i'm just trying to figure it out i am trying to figure it out so there's so many pepper trees around here pepper tree is my favorite tree the pepper tree when I think about all my moves, a lot of my moves were for, were for school, so I needed to move because it was school related. But then after a while, I got addicted to moving and it was, and also I just remember I would always have good friends everywhere I moved and then I would move. <laughs> I have a hard time getting close to people also, but it became like an addiction to move. It, it was exciting to pack the boxes and to go to a new land and a new place. And I did that for 20 years. And now I'm like, I don't want to move anymore. But I also don't want to live where there's like these hillbilly types, you know? Like, I just can't deal with that. Ew, give me a break already. But I am definitely going to give this area you know a chance and there's like I've met good people I don't I'm not gonna just like be like oh, I gotta move again <laughs> I'm not doing that gosh crazy lady plus my cats are like um enough but I think I think people need to try to be less judgmental of people like in general like I'm not talking about the racist people they're just like I feel like a lost cause but I could see being judged because I move so much I think if people really died like looked at the biopsychosocial of another person like right they would have more empathy. They would have more empathy. We would have more empathy for each other if we looked at the full picture. So, 
looked at look at the biological component look at the psychological component and look at the social component of a person and I think we would judge people way less anyways I feel like I'm such a downer right now oh my god All right, I'm going to show you some beautiful, some beautiful trees, and um, I start my new job tomorrow, so wish me luck. I'm super nervous, super nervous, and um, I look forward to hearing from you all, and I think I'll just go ahead and put that video out. I don't even know. If I I kind of, I really feel like this video is like the one that I made already is just it's not co cohesive but I kind of want to put it out anyway I don't know what to do but if I put it with this video it's gonna be super long oh my god you know what if you guys want to see it I don't even know if you made it to this point of this video this you guys might have been like I don't want to watch a video of her talking to her car for 33 minutes <laughs> like, but if you even got to this point let me know if you want me to put that video up I don't even know if I want if I'm going to um, yeah, just let me know if you want to see it. And some of you have been asking like where some of my videos are. I took a lot down because I don't really see the point in keeping videos up that don't really get views. I just don't. Like, so I take them down. And I'm like, okay, that one bombed, so let me just try another one. Um, but I didn't actually mean to take down, there was like two that I took down that I didn't, I shouldn't have taken down. Because people are like, why did you take this? video down I need it to go to sleep and that's really what is important that's what I want to do that's really the whole point of my channel is for is to help with anxiety and depression I have it I know what it feels like and if I you never like me so I say fuck you you know you know that you don't like me and I don't like